day yesterday. Yep. I was felt like a faucet out there, Dan, just sweating. Very humid. Yeah, very humid, yes. sweating a lot. Um, and you said today's going to be a similar situation. Today, very similar to yesterday. It might up the ante just a little bit, so okay. maybe a little bit hotter. Yesterday we reached 92. It'll be close to that this afternoon. So, I mean, you know, if you have the pool, yeah. in the, kid, day for the kids it. are enjoying the pool. Yeah. Sitting by the uh, out on the deck, perhaps you know, with I mean, the shade. Sounds good to me. This is the yeah. I, don't, I don't mind this weather, honestly. I, I mean, like this, is, it. this is the type of weather that you know we, Summer. especially if you're a pool pool, pool person, person like myself. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Or a beach person. This is the stuff you've been looking for with all the rain that we've had, and you know, it's it's humid. But finally, we keep the humidity, but without much of any rain. We can't rule out that stray shower, just like yesterday, a stray downpour. But it would be brief. It would be isolated. And it's going to be a fine day to be sitting by the pool, or perhaps staying inside in the ACs and the fans, right? You, one of the types of days where you want to just kind of use a little bit of common sense. This, you know, if you run outside, you don't want to do it the height of the day. Do it now or do it after about 6 or 7 o'clock this evening as we cool off. You're looking for that outdoor exercise. Temperature now, we have cooled off. We're sitting at 68, so it's a mild, muggy start to our day. Temperatures will be climbing fast. Dew points are in the upper 60s as well. We have a little bit of thin fog. So your 24 shows, temps coming up into the upper 70s by 9 o'clock. By noontime, we're into the upper 80s and we'll settle into the lower 90s this afternoon. Notice how we do have the chance of a pop-up shower or an isolated thunderstorm as we go throughout the day. Today, it would be brief and again, it would be isolated. Best chance of that happening would be across the Hilltowns and Berkshire County. By 8 o'clock, temps are in the lower 80s and overnight tonight, we will cool off into the 60s to near 70 degrees, so we'll continue to need the ACs and the fans cranking. And we may start tomorrow with some patchy fog. Now tomorrow, we'll notice a few more clouds around, and we have a little bit of chance of a shower or thunderstorm late in the day as a weakening front heads our way. But today, upper 80s in the hill towns, lower 90s in the valley. Um, nothing more than that spot shower. UV index will be running high. Make sure you have plenty of sunscreen. UV index near uh, or up around 9 on that scale to 12, and humidity levels today will be running moderate to high as well. Right now we're sitting at 68 degrees, down a couple of degrees in the last hour in Springfield. Dew points are in the upper 60s, so it's muggy enough. Just a few patchy clouds and some areas of fog. Nothing organized across the northeast, but with all the heat and humidity, we can't roll out that stray shower or an isolated thunderstorm. Our front will be approaching tomorrow. It's going to bring strong storms perhaps across New York State, but as those storms approach Western Mass tomorrow evening, they're going to be dying off. So the best chance of a strong storm will be across the Berkshires and then maybe an isolated shower or an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow evening in the valley, but very isolated as that front just kind of falls apart and doesn't really amount to a whole lot. It'll stay humid not only today and tomorrow, but straight through the weekend and probably into the beginning part of next week. So highs today, lower 90s, mid 80s along the shoreline out across the Cape. Plenty of sunshine. High, for example, Chatham, Yarmouth, about 80 degrees, but it's real humid on the Cape. If you headed down to the beach, Hammonasset or uh, anywhere, Connecticut, Rhode Island shoreline, temperatures near 80. Water temperatures are in the low to mid 60s. Overnight tonight, 65 to 70, mainly clear, mild and muggy. Some patchy fog by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we're up near 90. Few more clouds mix in. Isolated shower storm late. And then Saturday, cloud, uh, clouds and sun mixed, humid, a couple of degrees cooler in the 80s over the weekend. And perhaps the best chance of some rain may be late Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. And some of that rain could be heavy. We'll talk more about that coming up in a few minutes. David, back to you. Dan, thank you.